joining Bug Bounty in 2024 won't give you a job. Yes, you heard it right. Bug Bounty won't give you a job in 2024. Oh hell no! You can get bounties very easily, but still, if you wanna go into a fresher role, Bug Bounty won't give you a job, guys. Just feel the anger coming out of them. And let me make it very clear guys, this is not a clickbait video, I'll just show you guys proof and I'll just say what is the current market right now in cyber security and in bug bounty, okay? So as you could see in this post in front of your screen, so this specific security researcher posted this in uh, LinkedIn. So my name is Anzil, I graduated in Bardia University in Kerala and uh, I was doing self-learning about different areas, cyber security, VAPT, SOC, GRC and bug bounty. And during his bug bounty journey, he discovered like 100 plus bugs from different platforms and got a lot of Hall of Fames from Nokia, NASA, Lenovo, Cisco and many many things, right? So here he mentioned like I've been trying to get a job from last January 2024 until now I'm just searching for it. So it has been like 7 months right now since the security researcher started to search for a job and this specific case shoots for me also guys because I'm also just searching for a job for the past 7 months Okay, uh, in UK, but still uh, I couldn't crack a job. I'll just say the reason uh, further, but still. Uh, so I too got like many Hall of Fame from top MNCs. Okay, I'm a cyber security instructor, I'm teaching, I'm doing seminars, I'm having freelancing experience, but still I couldn't be able to crack a job. The thing is, if you are doing bug bounty, you'll be going in red team. And as a red team entry level role, You'll be going as a VAPT intern or else you'll be working as a penetration tester, right? So right now I'll just take a specific LinkedIn post for you and you can just start to analyze what are the key points and what are the key responsibilities they are just demanding in a specific organization, okay? Perfect. So guys, you could see over here, I've taken a LinkedIn post. So penetration testing India and I've just filtered this with entry level category. So if I just scroll down, you could see the responsibilities will include like doing a lot of pen testing. So they haven't mentioned the pen testing methods. So if you are going into a penetration testing job, so you just need to know three types of pen testing in order to just go into a cybersecurity engineer or a penetration tester. So one is website, second one is application and third one is cloud. Okay. So you just need to have some basic knowledge about on all the three concepts of pen testing. Okay. Perfect. So the thing is. My client is a cybersecurity firm that works with customers uh, with SIEM monitoring tools and uh, solutions along with the cyber kill chain, MIT RE framework. Guys, if you're not going to know what is the basic terms of cyber kill chain, MIT RE framework or else SIEMs, Plunk or else GRCs, HIDS, HIPS, DMZs, you're not going to get a job. So this will be the first question which will be put in front of you. What is meant by cyber kill chain? What is meant by MIT RE framework? And then what is meant by NIST? Have you implemented NIST before? Okay. And what is meant by SIEM? And have you worked on SIEM tools? Okay. And they will ask what is meant by HIPS and HIDS. And they will ask what is meant by NESIS. And I'm pretty sure 90% of my bug bounty viewers don't know the specific term of what is meant by GRC, what is meant by cyber kill chain, or what is meant by MIT RE framework, or or is like or how to implement NIST, or is how to implement ISO 27001, right? So if you're going into a cyber security job, if you're cracking a cyber security job, it is essential to learn all the basic concepts of cyber security instead of just focusing only on website pen testing, guys, okay? Okay, Akash, now tell me how to secure a job then. Perfect. No worries. I got your back. First, I recommend you to learn two different types of pen testing methods. So one will be website and another one be application. Both are very, very recommended when you're just going into a cyber security job. So once you're good with that, I recommend you to go to any unpaid internship, which is out there. And I would prefer offline instead of online because offline won't give you that specific experience or organization experience, which company demands. Okay. So I lack that specific organizational experience right now. So that's one of the main reason why I'm not getting a job. And second one is security clearance in UK. So that is another category. I've already posted a video on that. So once you've done your paid internship or else any unpaid internship, you will have a very good exposure what is happening in the industry, okay? So when this recruiter sees the specific internship which you did offline, so they would be starting to ask questions on that specific internship, like how you did, like what was the key role over there and what projects did you just work on on real time? So once you answer that, I'm pretty sure they will just definitely hire you 
immediately okay so the main important key role and a bridge over here is the internship which you go before you crack a job okay so that is very very important guys so these are the things you just need to keep in mind so this is the key points to take from this video so first is you'll be working with different types of pen testing so i recommend you to do both website and application and second one is to do with an unpaid or paid internship okay as a volunteer or as a fresher so doing a paid internship or an unpaid internship so and the third one is you should have an hands on experience with real time projects okay so for example it may be any domain guys financial medical sector or real software whatever it may be you must have hands on experience so once you are good with that you can start to apply for jobs and you can start to prepare some basics questions related to cyber security jobs so if you want i've already posted a video on that and a blog on that you can watch in my channel i would give the link in description and finally before concluding this video is based on my experience only so different people have different experience so people without any internship so they would have gotten job into a cyber security as a fresher but still this is my criteria and my allegation what i'm speaking in this video right now so perfect guys hope you have learned some information i guess so we can meet in next video katra vaipam katra de patra vaipam learn every day happy hacking see you guys see you next video thank you so much for watching Thanks. Love you. Forever. <laughs>